To write the formula for iron 3 fluoride, we go to the periodic table and we look up iron, and that has an element symbol of Fe. We then go and look up fluoride. We're looking for fluorine on the periodic table. That's F. Iron, that's a metal. Fluorine, that's a nonmetal. So this is going to be an ionic compound. We need to take the charges into account for the iron and the fluorine. They need to add up to zero because iron 3 fluoride, that's a neutral compound. Right here in the name, we see this Roman numeral 3. It's iron 3. This 3 tells you that the iron has a 3 plus ionic charge. Fluorine, we go to the periodic table that has a one minus charge. So these don't add up to zero right now, but we can change the subscripts to make that happen. We use the crisscross method. We move the one down here, the three over here. We don't write the one by convention, get rid of this. And that's the formula for iron three fluoride. Let's check our work, make sure we got that right. We said the iron, that was three plus because of that Roman numeral, it's a transition metal, and fluorine, one minus. So we have three of these fluorine atoms, three times the one minus, that's three minus, one times the three plus, three plus. So three plus and three minus, that adds up to zero. Our net charge is zero. This is the correct formula for iron three fluoride. Let's clean it up. And that's it. Iron three fluoride, F-E-F-3. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.